Hi, I'm Doug McMillan. I'm demoing the uh, Chimera Competition of Photography Architecture uh, that's built into the Tegra 4 um, line of chips. Basically what we have is a Tegra 4 uh, reference platform, reference to reference tablet here. And what we set up is a, is, a, is a typical scene showing high dynamic range where you've got a bright lit background and a normally lit foreground. Now if you try to capture this with a, with a traditional uh, phone or tablet today, you either have to choose between capturing the background or the foreground. Um, if you try and if you if you uh, expose for the foreground like you see in this in this tablet here, the background is completely blown out, and the inverse happens if you uh, if you try and focus on the, the beautiful scenery, then the foreground falls into shadows. The way that uh, camera phones handle that today is they turn on HDR mode, and what that does is takes two separate photos and fuses them together. Uh, several problems are with the with the conventional way of doing HDR photography today, and that is. The pictures are taken on a timeline. You take one, you take the second one, and then you fuse them together. The fact that the pictures are taken sequentially means that if there's, if you move your, the camera at all, or something moves in the scene, then your your uh, picture has a bunch of motion artifacts and it's completely messed up. So with the power of the Chimera architecture, what we've done is uh, Integra 4 is enabled, first of all, always on HDR. So we have a live preview. This is, it shows, uh, we, you're going to, you're both the foreground and the background are exposed correctly as though, as though in the picture the way you wanted it. Because of the fact that it's that it's real time, that enables us to not only do HDR stills, but we can do HDR burst mode. We can do HDR flash, which in today's camera phones, you notice that you have to choose flash or HDR. You can't do both. And we can also do 30 frames per second video. The other thing that we've solved with Chimera is um, is the idea of motion. I can I can re uh, adjust the picture. I can recompose my my picture. Or if something is moving in the scene. Um, movement doesn't create motion artifacts the way that it does in traditional photography because we're doing it all in one scene, not in, in multiple pictures. So that is one example of what's possible with the Chimera computational photography architecture built into the Tegra 4 family of chips. Fantastic. That is awesome. When can I expect it on my Android smartphone or tablet? Uh, Tegra 4. Tegra, uh, so announcements have been made. I don't know about shipping because we don't yeah. control the shipment of our, of our partners, but yeah. um, soon. It's it's a, it's a native part of the, the architecture, so all every device just gets it um, in, in, inherently. Right. So, and this device that's running on right now is just a uh, prototype. This whatever. is a, this is an NVIDIA developer, reference tablet that right. just basically is, is, enables us to show with the whole system working together. It's a you know a 1080p right. uh, display and a, and a very thin tablet. Yeah, it's a pretty little device. It's not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you for coming by. Oh, yeah. Anytime.